नमस्कार मैं आदर्श चू आदर्श एजुकेशन सोसाइटी वेलकम सी ऑल हियर डियर स्टूडेंट फ्रेंड्स वी आर मूविंग अहेड वी आर वेरी नियर टू द एंड ऑफ द स्टोरी एट द कॉर्नर स्टूड ए ड्रग स्टोर ड्रग स्टोर विल नॉट स्टैंड ओवर देयर बट देर वॉज ए ड्रग स्टोर मेडिकल स्टोर एट द कॉर्नर ब्रिलियंट विथ इलेक्ट्रिक लाइट्स इलेक्ट्रिक लाइट वॉज देयर वेन दे केम इन टू द ग्लेयर ग्लेयर इन अ लाइट ईच ऑफ दैम टर्न simultaneously to gaze upon the other's face the most important most important paragraph most important turn most important twist of the story is in this paragraph up till now they were in dark light so that they were talking each other now they reached very near to a drug store where electric light was there and there only they started simultaneously gradually each other to gaze they starting staring towards each one one is seeing other's face other is seeing first one's face the man from the west stopped suddenly and released his arm ha chode bhai maro he snapped suddenly he spoke hey you are not jimmy wells hey you are not my friend up till now to whom bob was talking was not jimmy that he realized from this point You are not Jimmy Wells. Twenty years is a long time. It's okay, but not that much long enough to change a man's nose from a Roman to a pug. This is what. Uh, by birth, the shape of the nose. will remain unchanged sharp pointed nose will not become the flat one or flat nose will not become the sharp pointed one and the same thing he told here same thing from a roman to a pug this is not possible sometime it changes a good man into a bad man the tall man said sometime it's okay it's changed who told it the tall man who was in front of bob sometime it changes a good man into bad man in the childhood anyone will be a good man and then he will become a bad man it can be possible the tall man said and he told hey you have been under arrest for 10 minutes huh under arrest yeah and that's not for a minute for since last 10 minutes silky bob going quietly without making any effort you are going quietly Ah, are you? Come on. 
that is sensible. Now, before we go to the station, here is a knot. Huh? What is this? Bob could not understand anything else. But the tall man gave him a knot. And I was asked to hand over it to you. What is that? A knot. A cheat. You may read it here at the window where light is there. It is from the patrolman. Patrolman who is looking after patrolman doesn't mean with the petrol station, petrol filling station. Patrolman walls wells. It is from patrolman who was in front of him before 10 to 20 minutes ago and with whom he talked means Bob talked to Jimmy Wells. The same Jimmy Wells is a patrolman and he has given this note to you. Just you read it at this window only because light is here. The man from the west means Bob unfolded the little piece of paper little piece of paper which was handed over to him by a tall man. His hand was steady when he began to read but it trembled shivered a little by the time what he had finished. What is written? What was written in the knot? The knot was rather short. It was not a long description. It was in a short description only. What's there? Jimmy Wells, his friend, wrote him. Because you see here, Jimmy is given. Initially only his name is written, Bob. So that the writer of the cheat is Jimmy Wells and reader is Bob. What the idea? Bob, I was at the appointment place on time, on time, at the right time. Appointed place at the Brandy restaurant. When you struck the match stick, I told you when this paragraph was there, pay attention here because that is the most important action of the entire story. And uh, that action you will realize here when you struck the matchstick to light your cigar at night 10 o'clock at the time only I saw at the time what I saw that day it was the face of the man who is a wanted fellow in Chicago police station Somehow I could not do it myself. Why is it so? Because Jimmy Wells was the friend of Bob. So that he told, somehow I could not do it myself. So I went around, I went away from that place and got a plain clothes man who is in front of you to do the job. To do the job means to arrest you. Because Bob, we, Bob was a wanted fellow in Chicago police station. A friend did not arrest his friend. On the contrary, he did not allow him. He 
did not allow him to move away from New York. And so that the title of the story is the same thing. One hand, one hand is with the friendship and so that Jimmy Wells was present at an appointment time and on the other hand he was having his duty to arrest the criminal. He accepted his friendship also, he followed his duty also and so that the title of this story friendship and duty is exactly correct for this story. In this way we have completed this uh, story. The end of the story I told here that this is another most important action of the story the same thing is here. When they observed each other's face, they realized a nose cannot be from a Roman to a pug and there only we come to know that those who were walking and talking together were not friends but one was a criminal, another one was a police officer. Got the idea? In this way we have completed this story. These all are the glossary words. Here me tamne che kidu and a picture pana piusha. Sharp pointed nose, Roman nose, to a pug nose, flat nose. Manas gamme udo thai. By birth, then a knack no ja shape hoy, ema kui change na thai shake. Kya re nai. And this was the identity to identify Jimmy Wells. Uh, what's there in other activities uh, that we will come to know later. Till that we have completed the story of this lesson. The title of this lesson is Friendship and Duty, but the title of the story is After 20 Years. Got the idea? Thank you. Thanks a lot for joining us.